I really don't know how else to say this, but I fucking hate Alien 3. I fucking hate this movie with a burning passion. This piece of shit right here. Fuck this movie. I, I, I don't know how to say that calmly. I really don't. Fuck this movie. Fuck Alien 3. Everything that you loved about aliens, gone. Destroyed in this fucking movie. Gone for good. Forever. Because Alien 3 fucking ruined it. Alien 3 ruined the fucking everything, the, the, the greatness that Alien was. Everything that Alien stood for, everything Alien created, fucking gone. Fucking destroyed because they had to make the fucking abomination that is known, excuse me, I'm already getting excited, about fucking Alien 3. You didn't even need to make a fucking Alien 3. I would have been happy if they just would have never made Alien 3 or Resurrection. Because you really didn't fucking need those. But no, the fucking Hollywood money machine, the Hollywood fucking bullshit hoopla, whatever the fuck, decide, oh, we should make an Alien 3. It'd be great. People would love to see it. No. None of us wanted a fucking Alien 3. None of us. Nobody. In all honesty, nobody wanted a fucking third Alien movie. No. No. Bad Hollywood. Bad. No Alien 3. No. You like Corporal Hicks and Newt? Dead. You like Ripley? Ripley went several steps backwards in character development with this movie. You want an exciting story? No, you don't get that with this movie. You get a bullshit ass fucking prison planet where there's no guns, no weapons, which makes sense. Sigourney, thank you, Sigourney Weaver. Well, I don't like guns. I'm not playing with guns. Then why the fuck did you use guns in Alien Resurrection? Why? Why? Boring, boring, boring. This movie is fucking boring. I watched it earlier today. And it, 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 it's boring. Even when shit is happening in the movie, it's still fucking boring. It's still stupid. None of the characters are interesting in this movie. I didn't give a fuck about any of the characters. They were not interesting. Great actors wasted completely in this movie. They all looked fucking bored like they didn't want to be there. Completely uninterested. The special effects look horrible. I hate, hate the way the fucking alien looks in this movie. Especially the bullshit ass fucking CGI shots of the alien when the alien's on the ceiling and everything. Looks terrible. The ending is stupid. Alien 3 is a fucking boring, pointless waste of my fucking time. I hadn't seen this movie in years until today, and I still fucking hate it. I hated it as a kid, watching it on TV the few times that I'd seen it. Trying to give the movie a shot. 
trying to give the movie a fair shake. I hated it then, and I think now, as an adult, I hate it even fucking more. I can't stand this fucking movie. I cannot. I know people were thinking, well, why did you buy the Blu-ray set? Well, because, you know, first of all, the only way to get the two bonus discs is if you buy the set. And, you know, I might get some enjoyment out of the special features to see how the movie was made. That kind of stuff I enjoy. But that's about it. You know, I really feel bad for David Fincher because David Fincher didn't deserve this, especially as his first theatrical film. Thank God David Fincher bounced back because I think he's a brilliant filmmaker. The Game is a great movie. Seven is a great movie. And Fight Club is a great movie as well. Past that, I haven't seen anything else. But one of these days, I'd like to, you know, update on the David Fincher stuff. But those three movies are great. This movie, definitely not fucking great, and I know he still hates it, and he has every right to because the way that he was fucking disrespected and mistreated on this movie. Because they wouldn't listen to him, because Fox and, and whoever else already had the movie made up in their mind, and they weren't giving a shit over, you know, who was directing and all that. Because they wasted all this time and money on this fucking idea about a wooden prison planet out in space that for some fucking stupid reason, Fox thought that was the best way to do the movie and they spent all this time and money building these sets and working on this and they haven't even had a fucking completed screenplay and they hadn't even started production on a movie but they were so goddamn fucking hung up on these stupid ideas for an alien movie. But William Goldman's script, which is fucking brilliant, oh no, that's too much like Aliens. We can't do that. We don't want to redo the first or second movie. That's too much. We cannot do that film. Which is now a comic book, which is great. I want to pick the comic book up. I have my own copy. Eight fucking firefights in that movie. Eight. Not one. Not two. Eight. Which is more than Aliens had. Aliens had what? Two firefights and then the final showdown. Three major action sequences. This movie was going to have eight. Including one that was in zero fucking gravity. Now how fucking cool would that would have been? But no. Prison wooden planet in outer space with Alien. That's the movie. Fuck that. Fucking stupid. Ripley has to be in it. No. For this one, no. For Aliens, yes. Ripley was essential to that story. Was crucial to that story. There's no way that Aliens would not have worked if Ripley wasn't in it. This movie, they could have went in a different direction. They could have had Ripley be a minor character. They could have had Corporal Hicks be the main character with Bishop and Newt, like in the screenplay fighting aliens in a fucking shopping mall where people are turning into xenomorphs like in the thing. But no, that's too much like aliens. We can't have that. We can't. No, no, that's bad. That's you know, bad. Can't have that. But we'll have this bullshit-ass fucking movie where Ripley is a wimp for the lack of a better word. You know, the whole the whole bullshit fucking plot point where a face hugger got into the ship. How? Like they never it just they never explain how it got there. It's just oh, it was there. Well, how? Like they blew up the fucking colony. They flew into space. They killed the queen. It doesn't compute at all to me. How? 
and then Newt and R- er, and uh, fucking Hicks, my bad, get killed. Bishop's fucked up. Ripley's the only one that survives. So how did that face hugger know? You know what I'm saying? Like, and then Ripley is impregnated with an alien, which was fucking stupid. You know, and then the whole fucking movie is boring. I was, I, I don't even remember the last time I was this bored with a fucking movie. And I don't remember the movie being this bored when I watched it a few, you know, the few times I'd seen it before as a kid. Or, you know, the last time I had seen this movie was a couple of years ago when I got the VHS from a friend of mine when she gave it to me. And I think when I watched it, I fell asleep. Well, there you go. I was that fucking bored with the movie. Because the movie's fucking garbage. You know, the William Gibson idea is what they should have did. It would have been a fucking awesome movie. It wouldn't have been as good as Aliens because James Cameron wouldn't have directed it, but it would have been amazing. And Rennie Harlan was supposed to direct that, and he left the project. But, I mean, we got two good things out of that because Fox offered him Ford Fairlane, which is a great comedy, and then he did Die Hard 2 right after that. So he had two great movies after that. So, I mean, it kind of worked out in that respect. You know, but Rennie Harlan just got tired of waiting and left. It makes sense. You know, and then they brought in uh, Eric Red, who wrote The Hitcher. And, you know, he said that it was it was a waste of time. It was nothing because it was a lot of meetings and ideas from other people. And he wasn't really allowed to work on a script. He was told exactly what and how to do it. So he said, fuck it and left. I don't blame him. And then you had Vincent Ward, which Vincent Ward, you know, still gets credit on the movie, which is, you know, that's where, you know, he was told about, okay, we're going to do a wooden prison planet with monks, a wooden planet, religious shit with monks. That was the original idea. Then it became the prison idea. And he worked on it and he worked on it. And then he said, fuck it. You know, did he, I mean, what does he get the credit for on here? He gets credit for the story. And then David Geiler, Walter Hill, and Larry Ferguson get credit for writing the screenplay. So there you go. My bad. But, you know, that's when the whole, okay, wooden planet, stupid religious bullshit. And then there was all these ideas about them using the alien as their religious whatever like that was just such a dumb fucking idea and then i don't know what's worse that one or what ended up being the movie and then oh no it's not a wooden planet it's a it's a prison planet now and these guys have found god and you know now you know this guy was a rapist and a murderer now he's okay because he found god and everyone's bald and ripley shaved her head and this all this stupid fucking hoopla And I know what people are thinking. Well, did you watch the assembly cut? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about the regular version. Why would I fucking want to watch the director's cut, which David Fincher disowned, which was done without David Fincher's approval? This this deep this version of the movie, that version of the movie. Excuse me. When they did the quadrilogy set back in two thousand three, David Fincher said, "I don't want to do that. I have no interest." in going back to Alien 3 and re-editing the movie. So they kind of just took the work print version as a basis and added, you know, did what they had to do. And then even then, like, the work print version still has shit that's not in uh, this version. Excuse me. Because there's a work print version floating around online, which is like 10 minutes longer than the assembly cut and has shit which is not in the assembly cut. But, I mean, why, if I don't fucking care about this version, why would I ever want to watch the Assembly Cut? I'm sure one day I will, just to say that I've seen it. I mean, I'm not going to do a separate review about it, because I don't give a fuck about this movie. But maybe one day, just for the lack of watching, you know, of never seeing it, I'll watch it. And I'll probably be like, okay, 
That wasn't any better. That's it's still a bad fucking movie. You know, and I, I just didn't give a fuck about anything in this movie. Now watching it as an adult, you know, years later, I just, I still don't fucking care about it. I didn't care about it as a kid. I thought it was stupid as a kid. I didn't like anything about it as a kid. And I don't fucking like it now. You know, and the script kept going through changes. And Sigourney Weaver was throwing her weight around because she got a producer credit and she got like $15 million and she got points and she had a clause in her contract where if the shoot would go over X amount of days, she would get paid more money because she'd have to reshape her head, which ended up not happening. She wore a bald cap, but I'm sure she, bleh, I'm sure she still made money off of this. And, you know, David Fincher was always clashing with the producers and the studio, and the studio wanted things, and the producers wanted things, and Sigourney Weaver wanted things, and there's this and that and the other thing, and there was too many fucking cooks in the kitchen. You know, sometimes, you know, I always say this, sometimes you just need to leave shit the fuck alone. Sometimes you don't need a sequel. Sometimes you don't need a remake or a reboot or a re-imaging or a reimagining or whatever the fuck it's called. It's all the same bullshit. Sometimes you just need to let people come up with their own fucking sequels and their own ideas. Sometimes you don't have to spend millions of dollars on piece of shit fucking movies like Alien 3. Because the movie wasn't a hit. The movie flopped in America. It bar I think it broke even. But still. Well, worldwide, it was a hit. I don't give a fuck. It's still a bad fucking movie. You know how many shitty fucking movies have made money? Quite a bit. Alien 3 being among them. And there's plenty of people out there that like the film. And you know what? Cool. That You watch Alien 3. All goddamn fucking day you want. That's up to you. But fuck this piece of shit. You know, again, there's wonderful actors in this movie. Sigourney Weaver, great actress. Charles Dance, great actor. Charles Dutton, great actor. You know, the eighth doctor himself, Paul McGann in the movie. Great actor. The dude from Wayne's World 2, the, the roadie. Ralph Brown's the actor's name. Lance Henriksen. Fucking Lance Henriksen came back for the end of this movie. Completely fucking wasted. Which that doesn't even make sense because he gets hit in the head with like this big fucking pipe and like half his head's hanging off. But he's supposed to be a human. I don't get that. Maybe it's just the angle they use, but... And the whole, you know, the effects are horrible. The, you know, the, the way that the alien looks, I fucking hated it. It was atrocious. And again, the, the early CGI or whatever they used when the alien's crawling around the ceiling and he's running and, and it, the one shot where it's sitting there eating the guy, it, it looks so fucking horrible. It looks worse than, you know, a fucking PlayStation 1 game. And the whole, you know, I know in, in the assembly cut, they did it differently, but the alien bursting out of the dog it just was a stupid idea. I know in the assembly cut, it's an ox, but whatever. I still don't fucking care. And the whole trope where the alien won't attack Ripley because it knows that there's an alien inside of it, that was so stupid to me because... The alien is supposed to be this, you know, acid bleeding, you know, badass motherfucker from the first two movies, and it won't kill someone because there's an alien incubating inside of it. Yet in Alien and Aliens, the alien would have had no problem fucking ripping someone out of their cocoon and fucking killing them. 
Not, you know, they didn't do that, obviously, but still. But they, you know, they pussyfied the alien in this movie, as well as Ripley. Because Ripley, to me, comes off as a fucking wimp in this movie. What, what happened to the badass motherfucker from Aliens? You have no weapons of any kind. Like, I'd be pissed off, too. But, hey, Sigourney, you wanted that in the film. You used your producer clause to get that in the movie. And then what happens at the end? The Waylon Yutani, uh, Yutani, whatever. I've heard it said both ways. Come, the commandos come in and shoot everybody. So we're no guns, right? <sighs> whatever. And then you know the whole the the fucking ending of the movie from the ton the whole tunnel thing. I didn't like. I thought that was dumb. And the PO, like all the POV shots in the movie of the alien, I fucking hated. You know, that was stupid. And then, you know, Charles Dutton sacrifices himself, and then they fill up the, the, the crevice with the whatever that shit was. But the alien doesn't die from it. And then the alien jumps up, and then Ripley hits it, and then it shatters into a million pieces. I thought that was so stupid. You know, I'm like, really? Really? So much dumb shit in these fu in, in this fucking movie. Like <sighs> And then yes, I fucking hate the way Ripley died. It was a it was a it was a fucking a ripoff of Terminator 2. It was the same fucking ending. The Terminator lowers himself into the lava because he, it's the right thing to do. Because he can't allow himself to still be around because of the technology and everything. You know, and his mission was completed. There was nothing for him to do. But he couldn't just stick around, you know? Except, you know, this time, you know, Ripley sacrificed herself because she didn't want to get fucked over by the, the you know, Wayland Yutani. But still, it was the same fucking ending. And then I hated the thing where the chestburster pops out and she grabs it and holds it until she goes in. And I, I know in the assembly cut, that doesn't happen. She just falls in and, and that's it. It doesn't show the chestburster coming out. Of course, they wanted to get that last fucking gag in, you know. But whatever. Whatever. But this whole movie fucking sucks. I fucking hate this piece of shit. This is one of the worst sequels of all time. It's definitely one of the worst movies of all time, in my opinion. Oh, the assembly cuts so much better. I don't give a fuck, okay? I'm, you know, I'm not sorry. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I don't give a shit about... The assembly cut, which has nothing to do with David Fincher, because he had again he had no involvement with it. There's just you know there was there was so much potential in a, another action sci-fi movie with Alien Three, with the William Gibson script, with eight fucking firefights, including zero gravity fights, and Corporal Hicks being the lead character with Newt and Bishop in there and fucking. Aliens up in a shopping mall on this, like, you know, like, peaceful colony. And then the aliens are turning people into aliens. That would have been fucking badass. Not this fucking rehash of the original bullshit. Oh, but it's dark and it's nihilistic and it's, it's, it, it's a downbeat ending, which is what life is. No, this is not life. This is a fucking movie. I want to be entertained. Not want to drive my head through the wall, like the guy says in the movie. Wasted actors. Shitty special effects. Shitty fucking story. Shitty script. The whole movie is shit. It's a fucking awful movie. 
And the worst fucking part of it all is they killed off your favorite fucking characters from the previous movie. You like Corporal Hicks? He was, oh, he was great in Aliens. He was cool. He was a badass motherfucker. He was fucking up aliens. Oh, yeah, he dies when the ship crashes. Oh, you like Newt? She, the little girl that survived all this? Oh, yeah, she fucking dies too. Which, you know, they actually filmed. The, you saw the autopsy and everything. Thank God they cut that out because I, I heard even the effects guys were disgusted and like throwing up about that. I've seen pictures and the pictures are horrible. Thank God they cut all that out. I think they destroyed the footage, hopefully. You like Bishop? Oh, Bishop's all fucked up. Comes back for one little bit of the movie to give some exposition that we already fucking knew. And then Ripley puts him out of his misery. Thank God. Oh, you like Ripley? You remember Ripley fucking up aliens and fucking up the queen with the power loader? Oh, she dies at the last shot of the movie because she has an alien inside her. Because we wanted to be fucking cheap. Fuck this movie, man. And there's people out there that love this movie. And again, if I'm not, you know, I'm not one to to pick on people. I don't, I don't do that. It's fucking bullshit. But if you like it, cool, you know. But I fuck this. Everything you loved about the first two movies <laughs> out the window, gone forever because. Now we have to live with the shit stain, the fucking cum stain, that is Alien 3. This bullshit ass fucking movie. Fuck this. Fuck this movie. Fuck this fucking piece of shit. I, I will prob hopefully never have to watch this movie again. Hopefully. Never have to watch it again. I might watch the assembly cut just to see it, but that's about it. That's the only time I hopefully ever have to see this movie again. You couldn't pay me to watch this fucking movie. Is Alien Resurrection better? Yeah, but not by much. And I'm not, and that's not saying much cuz it's still not a good movie, but it's better than this movie. Anything is better than this movie. Fuck this movie. Fuck this fucking piece of shit ass bullshit ass fucking movie that kills off everybody that you ever loved and cared about in the franchise. Fuck this shit. I'm out.